Okay, it's a little too dark to film the fight yet, but here's the first fish of the morning. That was a 30 inch fish. Might have been 30 and a quarter, but my board breaks right there and you can't really mark it. So there he goes. And it was actually a double, so I've got another fish to land up front here. All right, so I'm an idiot. I forgot to film that one for you, but either way, that was a 25 and a half incher. Hopefully that'll get replaced at some point today. So I hope it ends up not being anything special. There goes fish number four. I've already got my limit today. Got that by 6 a.m. So we're just looking for upgrades and this is not one. So we're gonna send him back. He's only about 21 inches. Fish number five, another tiny blue. Let's start getting into the big boys. See you, dude. Well, I've been sitting here for the past half hour wondering why the bite died off so fast and decided I'd move spots, pulled up all my rods and all four baits are gone. So I'm actually not gonna move spots. I'm gonna throw a big old skipjack head. It's one of the bigger ones that I caught. In a couple body sections of skipjack down there and see if the bite's actually off or not. Don't be dumb like me. We are hooked up with what I think is our first decent fish of the morning. Just peeling some drag on us. Which is interesting because this rod has not gotten any action all morning and I was starting to think something might be up with the bait. But here we are. I gotta get him up. There's some structure down there. I gotta make sure he doesn't get hung in. Hopefully that's not the weight I'm feeling. But I don't think that's the case. I think we got a nice one. Certainly an upgrade. It's been a fun morning. This is already fish six. Look at that big cat fever rod bending over into the water. We got bubbles coming up. Lots of bubbles. Hopefully they're coming from a big belly. Oh yeah. That is going to help. That is a nice blue. I'm going to let him tire himself out. Then I'll get back with you for the landing. Okay, this looks like a nice long fish, which is what we're going for in a kayak tournament by length. So let's get him in the boat and get him on the board and I'll get back to you on that. Alrighty, that's a 42 inch blue cat. That's gonna be a good fish for the day. You get up on out of here, buddy. Nice, baby. Let's go get two more of those and then go take a nap. That would be nice. Here's fish number seven in the morning. He's just a little 25 incher. He's not gonna work for me. He's going back. Bye bye. Didn't manage to steal my bait though. So I'll get something fresh down there. There's a really big body section too. Big fish on, big fish on. That's the takedown we were looking for. I gotta get him up, there's trees down there. This is a good one. This is gonna be an upgrade for sure. We have to horse him, get him out of those trees. He just took off with that rod. Can hear my spot lock having to work so hard to keep him out of or keep the boat in place with him pulling me around. <laughs> this is what we need. I'm 
We're gonna take our time now that I've got them up about halfway. It's deep water, so I don't want to rush them too much. They've got a belly full of air if they come up that way. Less likely to survive. And I want to treat these fish nice. They're being nice to me. I'm going to send them back nice. Be another 40 inch or baby. It's funny, you actually catch some fish when you have bait on your hook. I've caught two in 10 minutes since I rebaited everything. But four empty hooks is not gonna catch you much. Here's the bubbles, we're about to get a look at him. Lots of bubbles. <laughs> Hopefully that means good things for us. That's another nice big fish. Yeah, there we go. baby I need to wear him out because he is not coming in the boat that fresh there's no way All right, here we go. Let's get this fish in the boat. He's acting pretty tired. Or not. All right, we got him. Okay, that's another 42 inch blue, baby. A couple more of those, we're gonna be having a great day. Check that fish out. All right, time to get him back in the water. All right, you take your time, buddy. Later, dude. I think he's tied up in my back line. Yeah, it looks like it might be. And nothing special. Alright, that's a little 26 and a half incher. We're gonna get him back later. That's good news though, we just moved to our second spot, so fish are actively feeding. Let's spend some time here and see if we can get a big one. Need at least one more big one and then we'll start upgrading the big ones, which is going to be exciting. Got a much better takedown over here. I literally just put that other rod back in the water. I just leaned back in my chair and this rod took off. Let's see what we've got here. Got a little bit of weight to it. My other two big fish haven't felt all that heavy, so I'm hopeful that this one's being a little sneaky too. Uh, he may just be a hard fighting small fish, honestly. But all I've got to replace is a 30, so anything helps above 30. And hopefully he's in that range. Every inch matters in a tournament. That's a good sized fish. It's definitely in the 30 range. It'll be an upgrade. He's barely got that hook. I better get him in here. Oh no, he's good. This looks real nice.
Okay, my first spot died off a little bit and just showed up to spot number two. That's a 34 incher. That helps to add a couple inches. Let's go get it on the leaderboard. And first of all, let him go back down to his friends. Tell him we're not all that bad. Just come on up and say hi. Oh, he showed me he wasn't very pleased with me on the way out with a big old splash in the face. Stole my bait, we're gonna have to rig that back up and drop it down. And I wanna do that quickly because that's two bites right away since getting here. Okay, big takedown. Bent the rod right over into the water. Hopefully this is our other 40 plus. Oh yeah, look at that baby. I think he was just a little spunky is all. But man, he hit that thing like crazy. Not a whole lot of weight to him. You gotta remember, it's gonna be a decent fish, but we're looking for the monsters now. No disrespect calling this thing a disappointment, but we're at that point where we're trying to upgrade beasts here. It's all in perspective. It would've been thrilled with this thing first thing in the morning, get some fish on the board, but now we're trying to pump that number. He is spunky. He's putting on a show at the top of the water here. Good fish. It was fun. Let's get him in the boat. Real tough and strong 31 incher. I would have thought he was five inches bigger than that, but he was fun. See you later, dude. Go get bigger. All right, I was on a phone call and I had moved to my new spot. I caught fish number nine and 10 right away. And then while I was on the phone call, I caught three more. So we're up to 13. This is lucky number 13. That's a 32 and a half inch blue. Good fish, fought hard all the way up, had to rip him out of a tree, but we're gonna let him go. Looks like he got a little hook in his back, so, and he's burping a little bit. So I'm gonna let him go real easy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get off the water for the morning. It's a little past noon. The bite's pretty much turned off. I'm uh, really happy with how the morning went. It put me in a great position, but there's still a lot of fishing to do. You can put in a whole nother eight hour day and everything can change tonight. So I'm gonna be back out here trying to upgrade fish, looking for some of those monsters. I've got one pretty weak fish on my board, so hopefully I can bump that up at least a couple inches and anything I can do to help. I want to take advantage of this opportunity and try, my, try and put myself in an even better opportunity for tomorrow. So we'll check back in tonight. We'll be out there. It might be a really long night on the water, carrying all the way into tomorrow. So we'll see. You gotta think it over and we'll be back. All right, we're back, heading out for the evening bite. Gonna fish all the way through the night into tomorrow. Time disappears when you got stuff to do. Went home, charged the boat batteries, charged my internal batteries a little bit. Took a little break, checked out mentally, re-rigged a rod, went and caught some really fresh bait. It's probably still alive back there. It's gonna be good and stinky, ready to rock and roll. Got a little bit later start than I wanted to tonight, but we'll be out there by 6.30. Plenty of time, five and a half hours left today once I get there. And then 12 tomorrow. I got so much peanut butter and jelly, I may never eat one again. And here's a note. If you're gonna live exclusively on peanut butter and jelly for two days, aside from snacks here and there, and maybe a barbecue roadside sandwich, don't get apricot jelly. It might sound good for one, but nine? Uh-uh. But that's where we're at. Ordered a sandwich at the drive-thru, left it there. Way too amped to get out here. It's time to lay that smack down, baby. Let's go.